Hundred is gathered here to say farewell and to pray for the soul of John Kagezi. Friends, parents, children, and different dignitaries described John Kagezi as a humble lady, God fearing, hard working, and admired her job. We were laughing, and then all of a sudden she was gone. <laughs> but Mummy at Wagala, Mummy at Wagala. I can't find any words that can express the way and the love I felt for mommy. While Philip and Carl were away, and it was only me and Pa, Mommy's, mommy was always there with us. I remember mommy had a flight early in the morning and she had to take us to school first. Chief Justice Bart Katurewe stressed that people who killed John Kagezi don't believe in the rules of law and this should not compromise the rules of fair trial and rule of law. This was after the Inspector General of Police, General Kali Kaihura, highlighted that some of the laws needed to be scrapped, like that of not detaining a suspect for more than 48 hours. Kaihura added that Joan was killed because of her good work of dealing with violent criminals and that security would consider she died in the line of duty. For the first time in our history, in the fight against ADF and other terror groups, we are indicting the source of all these problems, thanks to Joan. Among the mourners who attended the service were Vice President Edward Chiwanuka II on behalf of the government included Chief Justice Bart Katrebe, IGG Irene Muriagonja, President of Uganda Law Society Ruth Sebatinira, Director of the Public Prostitutions Mike Chivita, Security Minister Mary Kororo Krut, and Justice Minister Kahindo Tafire. Kagezi was shot dead on Monday evening while returning home, and her remains have been laid to rest at Bukasa. May her soul Rest in peace.